Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that it's currently raining. There's currently a storm going on where I live in San Jose. So if you hear any rain or wind or weird noises, that's probably why. But today I'm going to be talking about how you watching this right now can have the most productive semester of your life. A lot of people ask me how I balance school, work, extracurriculars, other things that I do in life, YouTube, etc. So today I'm going to be explaining how I do everything that I do in life and hopefully giving you all a little bit of advice so you all can do all the things that you want to do in life. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I think is just the foundation for a productive day, and that is waking up. I get up at various times throughout the week, ranging from 5.55 to about 7.30 or so, depending on what I'm doing. My schedule is a little bit weird this semester because my classes are kind of spread out on some days, but I'm trying to do the best with the schedule that I have. But anyways, I always set an alarm before I go to bed every night using the bedtime feature on my phone. It just looks like this, and you can change the sleep time and wake up time and calculate how many hours of sleep you're gonna get. I don't usually get eight hours of sleep, especially when I'm waking up for work at 5.55 in the morning. That's just life for some people. It's unrealistic to expect to get eight hours of sleep every single night, but sleep is obviously important, so try to get as much of it as you can. Then what I do in the morning when my alarm goes off might seem a little bit shocking to some of you, but this is the basis for every productive day that I have, and that is that I turn the alarm off and I actually get out of bed and start my day. There's no snoozing, there's no setting multiple alarms, there's one alarm, I turn it off, I wake up, and I start my day. This was my resolution a number of years ago to not hit the snooze, to not set multiple alarms, and it's honestly changed my life. It's so nice to just wake up and know that you're going to have enough time to do everything that you need to do. I usually wake up about 50 minutes before I have to leave because that's usually enough time for me to do everything that I need to do. So after I wake up, I don't check my email, I don't check social media, I don't read the news. I just jump right into my morning routine. I get ready, I get dressed, I make myself a cup of hot coffee or tea. I fill up my hydro flask with water. I get myself some food for the day and then I leave my house and go wherever I need to go for the day. The next thing that I wanna talk about is calendars and planners and how I stay organized with all the things that are going on. I use two main tools to stay organized. The first is something that I've talked about a lot and that is my bullet journal and I mainly use this as a daily checklist. I'll put down when I'm working, when any appointments that I have are and things that I need to do in that day and I add to them throughout the day. So if I'm my emails right before I'm going to class and I get an email that I don't have time to respond to, I'll write respond to such and such email in my bullet journal and then when I have the time to respond to it later on in the day, I'll respond to it. So this is just a good way to keep track of things as they come up throughout the day. There's a lot of different methods that you can use but this is something that I've been using for a few years now and it just really works well for me. But find whatever works for you. The second tool that I use is the calendar app on my phone. I have all of my calendars merged into one. So I have my work calendar, appointments, classes, and all of that. So it just really helps me to get a good overview of what my day is going to be like. This is an example from a few days ago. I had a class, then I had work, then I had another class, then I had work again, and then I had a meeting at night. Using the calendar app just really helps me to get an overview for my day and also schedule meetings when I need to schedule them. Obviously, I didn't have any meetings on this day, but for example, for that day, if I was thinking about setting up a meeting, I'd probably schedule one around 9 a.m because I was pretty much busy for the rest of that day. But yeah, I know this is really basic, but put stuff in your calendar, it really helps stay organized and to stay on track and to just know what's happening in your life. As you saw in my calendar, my days are usually pretty busy and I don't really have any breaks at all. So something that's really, really helpful for me is to pack some snacks in my backpack in the morning so that I can have food to eat throughout the day. I don't have time to buy food throughout the day and I also don't want to waste money doing that. So I bring snacks like apples, oranges, nuts, bars, things that I can just eat quickly without having to heat anything up. Bringing food to school or work is going to save you a lot of money and it's also going to help you keep your energy up. I've talked about meal prepping in other videos. During breaks when I'm just working, I do get an hour lunch break, so I will bring myself an actual meal to eat during that time. But during the school year, I just really don't have time for that at all. So I just have a few snacks throughout the day when I have time. I do still meal prep mostly just for dinner. Whenever I'm making a recipe, I just make about six or seven servings of it. And then I just put it into containers so that I can eat it throughout the week. That might sound boring for some people, but it helps me save a lot of money. And it just ensures that I have a nice healthy meal to eat even if I'm getting home from a meeting at 10 p.m. The last and probably most important thing that really helps me to be productive throughout my days is to really utilize any breaks or dead time that I have. If I have a one hour gap between classes, I'll answer emails, I'll work on name changes, I'll do my reading for class, or maybe I'll work on a short assignment. And I'll do the same thing when I'm coming home on the light rail. I usually just check social media and read the news on my morning commute because I'm way too tired to do anything. But during my evening commute, I'm usually a lot more awake, so I do like use that time to do things that I need to do. 
and to make doing schoolwork during those times a lot easier. I keep all of my notes and papers and assignments in this one binder. I've been doing this for a while now and it's really helpful. I just put this in my backpack every day and then I just know that I have everything that I need to do my homework wherever I am, whether I'm on the train or sitting in the library or car call or something or if I'm just somewhere else waiting for whatever reason. So those are my main tips for staying productive in college. Obviously, this is just my opinion on this topic and what works for me. So let me know what works for you and what you do to stay productive in college down in the comments below. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this answered some questions that you all had about how I do everything that I do. So with that, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have any other college topics that you want me to talk about, feel free to comment them down below. I really want to get back into making videos about college things because I know that a lot of you like watching them. And I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.